Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today is another installment in my Use Your Scraps series and I am going to show you how I made my own chipboard using scrap pattern cardstock as well as solid cardstock. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of the um, ones that I came up with and then I'll show you how I put them together so you get an idea. Um, so I've got different groupings, I've got different shapes and sizes. My favorites are probably the circles and the hearts, which is why you probably see a lot of them there. Um, I'm thinking some of these could be almost like um, an enamel dot. You, you know, you could use it in place of that. And let me just show you the thickness of, of these. So it is four cardstock thick so basically it's three layers of a solid cardstock and then the pattern on top and that's about the thickness that I like I didn't want it to be super thick but you could of course make it as thick as you um, prefer um, I just prefer to cut down on some of the bulk but I do still like a little bit of the dimension so all of these were done using punches and I found punches um, were the best route for me to go. Um, you could definitely use dies, I just think it would take a whole lot longer unless you had a die that cut out multiples of the same shape. Um, I just think cranking it through multiple times would be way more work than um, just punching it out. I did tend to stick to punches that had more simple shapes. Um, so that they were easy to align all the layers. This is probably the most complicated is the butterfly with the little uh, tail ends of his wings there. Um, but this actually was really easy to align. I just aligned using the top part of the butterfly. That was pretty easy. Um, I did not even bother to attempt something like this snowflake. I just think it would be a really, one, a pain to get the glue on, and then two, to align everything properly. So I would stick, tend to stick away from something like this and um, stick to more generic shapes. I'm also thinking that most of these um, will be like finishing touches, especially the smaller pieces, and so a little bit more generic shape, I think, looks, looks or works well with that. So I used some of the cardstock that had the foil already on it. That's what these pieces here are. So I'll show you that. Um, this one here too is also one with foil already on the cardstock. I like to have different sizes and I try to keep multiples of three where possible. Um, just because that's how I tend to use them on my scrapbook layouts or my cards is in multiples of three. How I will end up storing these, these will go in my sticker slash chipboard binders. I'll just add a little bit of AETG on the back and then just adhere that to the page protectors. I did experiment with the texture of them, meaning these are all matte. So this is just straight cardstock on top. Or I could show you this one here. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a flare kind of thing. And so I thought, well, it, if you wanted to go a shinier route, you could do that. And that's what these ones here are. So what I did for these ones is I affixed them all together. And then I took some ultra thick enamel um, embossing powder and just melted those over top. But it's an extra step. And... I didn't feel like doing that on all of these. I have the option that if I want to, uh, when I get to using them, I can always emboss them at that point. I did also um, use glossy accents on some. I don't have them here showing because they're still drying, but I will include a picture of them at the end of the video so you can see. But basically it was another cardstock that had glitter on it and I found the glitter was starting to rub off the paper and so I thought just adding some glossy accents on top would prevent that plus it would give it that dimensional shine. So I will have close-ups of all of these at the end of the video so you can see what I came up with but I'm going to show you how simple and quick and easy um, this is to put these together. Okay so as I mentioned one of the shapes I hadn't used was the star and so let's do that for um, for this card. We're going to take the piece of 
cardstock that we have chosen. This is actually paper. This isn't cardstock, but for my purposes, it'll still work. Find a piece of coordinating scrap. It doesn't have to be exact. You're going to punch out three stars. Watch the orientation if your punch is not symmetrical, meaning if it matters um, for alignment that they all line up on top, you want to keep those in the same order. And then also punch out from your pattern piece. Now I would tend to punch everything out all in one shot. So like I said, I like to do multiples of three. Um, so I would punch out at least three of these. I would probably get way more than that out of that little piece of pattern cardstock. So I would do as many as I could just to use it up. Okay, then it's just a matter of affixing some glue. I do like this um, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Clear Drying Glue. This is my second bottle and I have been really enjoying it. Um, you don't have to be super precise because this is liquid glue. It does kind of squidge out a little bit. And if you've ever used chipboard from um, the store, you know it's not super um, adhered down anyways in, in that you can easily peel it apart. So in this case I'm just using the points of the star to align and I'm not pressing really really hard at this point because I find that when you apply uh, quite a bit of pressure with this glue it bonds really quick. So once I'm happy with the alignment I am just going to give it a good press all the way around. And then what I've been doing as while I glue the next one, I will just take a stamp block or something heavy and just apply that on top. And then by the time I'm finished everything, um, all the other pieces, uh, then this is done. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if it focuses. Now this one here has, um, you'll see that there's a little bit of I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of white showing. If that bothers you, what you can do is just take a pencil and just lightly um, color that in. Um, if you really are worried about it, you would find a coordinating pen color, but that's just too much work. So if you just if you just kind of rub the pencil over it, it knocks it down a little bit. Okay. You'll get this a little bit more with um, if your card stocks white core or, de, or, de, or um, pattern papers white core. Okay. And that's it. That's all there's to it. How easy is that? This is a great little project to sit in front of the TV when you just want to do something crafty but don't want to do anything big. And it, how great will this be to have these all done and ready to go on your next project? So that is it. I'll leave you with some close-ups of what I have done. And until next time, happy crafting.